Oh, damn, that was pretty nice. Oh, wait for it. Acquire loot. Did I get nothing? Did I get anything? Okay. This this doesn't seem to be working right. Um, can I... Did I even open the chest? It, it doesn't show me. I did this once before and it... Okay, well, it looks like I just got nothing. Wait, let me... Let me yeah, nothing. Alright guys and gals, it is Zipper and I'm here with Honest Game Review. This is a new series that I'm going to be doing, well, probably call it Honest Game Reviews. When uh, I pick up a new game, um, this this time it happens to be free, it might not always be free. I know that I'm getting Battlefield 1 when it comes out, well, I've already pre-ordered it, so I'll probably be doing a game review on that, even though <laughs> I've already played the beta and it looks awesome but today we're doing paladins which is made by high res studio the same people that made the game smite which i love and enjoy and have put a lot of time into so i have high hopes for this game and it is in the beta and i'm going to be dis discussing problems and good things about the game as you can see there just in the beginning uh, i try to open up a chest that i got for leveling up and it gave me nothing i guess i don't know it might have given me something didn't seem like it, but that's okay. I am going to be going over some of the problems I've had in the game, um, but I'll get into that when I jump into the gameplay. So let's go do that now. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so let's jump right into this review. Um, I have some gameplay coming up. It was pretty enjoyable. I really liked um, the character that I was playing. I played one game before that, but we're not really here to talk about the gameplay. That's just to kind of show you what it's like. Now, I want to get into something that's kind of a con and a pro. The layout um, of this game is very similar to Smite in a lot of ways. The main menu looks a lot like the Smite main menu, which is easy, because it, you know, if you're a player that played a lot of Smite, now you're coming to this, it's a little bit easier to understand. Now, something I didn't notice, and there's no denying this, some of the character models definitely resembled gods from Smite, including, um, oh crap, I can't think of the name. Oh, jeez. It's the, it's the Ent tree dude. Sylvanius. Sylvanius, Sylvanus. Um, You'll, you might see him in this gameplay a little bit later, or you'll probably see him. It's like this big tree dude, except this time he's wielding wielding an axe in this game. So there's definitely similarities between Smite and this game, and it seems like they kind of copied some of the models a little bit. Well, sometimes it was very blatantly, sometimes it was referenced. However, the character I am playing right now in this gameplay seems pretty original. Um, he's like this... Uh, rodent dude with he shoots out these potion bombs and as you can see I die right away kind of a bad representation of how I was doing because I honestly feel like in the probably four to five games that I've played so far I was absolutely destroying the team and I'll get into that in a second now as far as an order I'm going to be talking about this game first I am going to be talking about the negatives because I feel like if I can get that out of the way right now I can go into the positives later and leave a good taste in your guys's mouth if you are actually watching this to get um, a review on this game now one problem that was um, alright the first problem I want to talk about is sound in my opinion sound plays a very important role in a lot of games, especially games that have a competitive mode or can be played competitively. Now, I do like a lot of the sounds in this game, however, um, they're, they're definitely stacked on top of each other and it's very chaotic. Um, sometimes it's hard to understand what's going on and, you know, in the first game I got into, I was just spamming my sh shoot button and the ability buttons and just, I was getting kills uh, left and right. As you can see here, I'm just getting kill after kill. Um, pretty nice. It's a great feeling. I think if you're playing a game uh, to get that feeling of doing good, this is definitely a game for you. I don't know if it was me or if these guys were just bad. It, it seemed to happen every game. But, you know, you're in the moment and all these sounds are going around you and you're, it can be kind of discombobulating. But that's just my opinion. And another problem I was having with the sound, and I do this a lot because, um, I try to record my gameplays is I will tab out the game and the sound will still be going now this game is in beta so of course I'm not going to go too hard on all the issues that I've been having um, so you know when I leave I can still hear things that are happening in the game I can still hear the music which is 
distracting, definitely, when I'm uh, trying to do stuff, mess with my recording settings, and all that stuff. It might not bother everyone, though. That might just be a personal thing. Now, another thing I want to talk about, which I'm definitely not going to put it on them too much, like, as a bad thing, is the map design. Now, I'm not a game creator, and I know a lot of things are intentional, but the map design, I mean, it looks nice, however, some of the things just don't feel right. I feel like there should be more flank areas where you can play more strate strategically. Sometimes it just feel like um, they put things there to for them to just be there. And, uh, you know, so far in the beta, I think there's only one map, and that's the map I've been playing. And I, it's okay. It feels a little bit weird when I switch sides, um, but that's probably just me. I've only played a couple games. So this is definitely, like, right off the bat how I my first impressions of this game but it's also a review because I think I have a pretty good understanding of what the game what the game state is right now something that might be bad for new players is as soon as you get in this game is very fast paced I was kind of expecting something a little bit like smite you know when I got on it looked it looked like smite and then you know except it's not like based off of gods and such but it's super fast paced and it definitely falls in the genre of games like Overwatch um, there was another one I forgot but it definitely has that feel you know I think that's been kind of a trend that's going on games like Overwatch where you have these characters you know it's payload fast pace abilities um, re relies on teams um, and this is definitely uh, in that genre so and I've never played Overwatch before so I really didn't know what to expect it is really fast-paced and I feel like I was getting a lot of kills for some reason I don't know if a lot of kills is a normal thing in this type of game but um it felt pretty nice and I have to say um, if you are in the game just to get that really good feeling that you're doing good this is the game for you as long as you can kind of master um, the character which I don't think I did this guy, he's pretty simple, he shoots potions, and uh, his right click, if you hit an enemy with it, then your left click, your normal attack, will actually do like critical shots, um, basically giving you more damage. I really enjoyed this character, <clears throat> excuse me, I also played a different character called Sky, and she was pretty fun. I felt like I was just melting through the enemies on her. I've only played two characters so far, and... Um, I'm excited to see what the other ones have to offer. I'm definitely going to be playing this game more and more and more um, because I'm already enjoying it. Now, I'm going to start talking about the things that are good about this game. First of all, the idea. I love the idea of this game. It's fun. I mean, I'm riding on a horseback. Who wouldn't love that? Riding in, on horseback as like a freaking mouse rodent dude wielding a potion blue thing shooting gun. Who wouldn't love that? It's, it's just a little bit of fun, and it could be a lot of fun, and if you master this game, it could be a lot of fun. I think just then, I used my ultimate, and I got like a triple kill or something. That felt pretty nice. It's the moments like that that feel really good. Now, the graphics are not like the best in the world. It's not Battlefield Ultra graphics, of course, but uh, I think it is good for what it is. Sometimes I look at the walls, I look at my surroundings, and it seems a little low res. Um, but for the most part the graphics are pretty satisfying it is a fast paced shooter type of thing and it's cartoonish something I, something that I would expect from this type of game and I really do like the graphics I think that's a plus on the game there's not too much that's wrong with it at all I don't think there's really anything um, something that I did notice though is like my weapon feels like it looks uh, better than the surroundings. That might just be me. That was something that I noticed. I have not played all the different champions in the game right now, but I think that there's a good amount, and of course they're going to be adding more. I think they're probably going to do something like Smite, where they add one every month, or two months, or twice a month. I don't know exactly, but um, right now there is like a $20 thing you can get where you can unlock the whole champion pack. You can get the current ones and all the future ones plus like some extra bonus stuff but um something that i didn't notice about this game is the character i am playing right now is support and in smite of course um i'm bringing up smite again i might do that a lot during this um during this review but that's really what i know high res from so that's that's the reason why and in smite supports um 
definitely don't get a lot of the kills and this guy's support and as you can see I'm doing a lot of work and it feels nice and that's something I do like I can support my team I guess I really don't see what I'm doing to support my team I don't know why this guy's a support uh, his abilities don't really seem too supportive but maybe I'm not looking into it yet I really haven't dove deep and another thing about this game is the card system there's like Instead of buying items, you can buy these cards and you can make different card packs and you can like upgrade. As you can see in the uh, bottom right corner, those are the cards that I've purchased and upgrade. And I guess they work and it feels nice um, to kind of have that structure. It's another part of the game that I really didn't notice. For me, in these first couple of games, it was just shooting, shooting, shooting at the enemies. And I guess I'm pretty good at that because I have played a lot of first person shooters in my day. But, um,. I think for the average player who just wants to get on and play a couple games, it's a great game to do. I think you'll find that you like this game more than you thought you would. But for the player that really wants to get into it, I think this is also a great game. You can really read up about all the stats and become like the best, one of the best players in the game just by knowing everything, knowing about all the champions, uh, reload times. I'm sure there's like so many different things and variables about this game that you can learn to be a better player. And Hopefully that I enjoy and do some of that stuff in the future with this game because um, when you find a good game, it's good. <laughs> it's good. It feels nice to have a game that uh, you enjoy, that you can you know, get to know. And of course, this is in the beta, so things can change. Um, things will probably change. And if um, I think this is a free-to-play game when it comes out and stuff, it's free-to-play beta right now. Um, I'll probably be doing more videos of this in the beta and then I'll probably be doing even more videos when it comes out and maybe I'll do a second follow-up review of this game when it uh, when it fully releases I think I definitely will do that um, probably not gonna be as long as this one uh, I really want to kind of let you guys know what this game's about and if you have any questions just tell me in the comments below um, I will get back to you tell you everything you need to know if I have to I'll look it up for you guys so you know, don't bother looking anything up. I'll get to you guys in the comments down below because uh, that's something I enjoy doing uh, as long as well as this YouTube thing. It's just part of the part of the job. The last thing I want to talk about is in-game transactions because this can be a very big topic when it comes to video games. It could ruin a game. It could make a game great. And again, this is very similar to Smite, just with a couple minor differences. And this is a free-to-play model. So basically, you can spend mo as much money in the game as you want and get these cosmetic items that make you look cooler, um, different voice packs for your champions. You can buy different champions if you don't uh, have the champion pack. And I really enjoy models like this because you can play the game. You can be just as good as this person who has all this awesome like looking stuff, but you're just as good as them and you have none of that stuff. Or you, know, you could get some of that stuff by just playing the game. Of course, you cannot get all of it. But I really do enjoy that type of model, and I think it it's the icing on the cake for this game. Of course, the game has its problems. It's in beta, like I talked about earlier in the video, but it really is an awesome game, and I hope you guys check it out. I will put the link um, in the description of where you can like download it, or you could just go on Steam and download it right there. That's how I did it. Um, no, I did it through uh, Smite, actually. I, I saw that the free-to-play beta was out, so I'm... That's uh, pretty much all I want to talk about in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will leave you to see what I get in this chest. I unlocked a weapon for this guy. I'm actually, right after recording this, I'm going to go test that weapon out and see what it's like. Of course, it's just uh, like a camo type of thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that'll be all for this video. Um, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Of course, leave any questions, suggestions, whatever. It's been the it's been zipper. It's been zipper and I will hope you all have an awesome day. Um, hashtag team crappy. I know I'm sinning, but I'm winning at the same time. Took a car shot for some niggas trying to take mine. I'm back on the block with a chopper.